Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to paint a female bluebird sitting in an old window frame. The pane of glass is missing in this frame and I'm going to begin by drawing her in the empty uh, window. I am starting out by drawing the bird in real time while I reference my tablet. I like to use my tablet to draw from. I can adjust the size of my image to exactly what I'm looking for. Normally I use the grid method or use my proportional dividers to draw my images on another piece of paper first. That way I can erase and adjust the sizes if I make any uh, mistakes. And then I will take that and transfer my image to my UART paper. But since this is just uh, a small image of the bird, I thought I would draw directly onto my UART sanded paper. Once I have her outline drawn in, then I will speed up the video so it moves along a little bit faster. Recently, I demonstrated how to paint a male mountain bluebird in a window frame, and I thought I would continue today with the same theme only painting the female bird in the opposite window of the window frame. I thought this might make a nice set having both male and female birds painted. Now that the bluebird has been placed, I'm going to block in the window frame. This window frame is very old and weathered with peeling paint and paint uh, sprayed all over the textured glass. So I want to capture that texture and old looking paint. Once I have the window frames blocked in, I will indicate where some of the peeling paint uh, will be located and make sure my window frame is pretty square using my ruler. And then I can begin filling in the background color of the empty window frame. I'm going to render the frame with a little bit more shading and indication of some of the grain in the wood to give it a more realistic look. In order to make the paint appear as if it is beginning to peel, I need to add a shadow beneath and along the edge of the paint where it's peeling, and then add some lighter white to highlight the edges of the paint, and it gives it a appearance of curling. I've already begun using a very dark gray pastel to begin shading in the background where the missing glass is in the window frame. So before I fill in the rest of the area, I'm going to begin shading the body of the bird. For my first layer, I'm applying some light blue and light gray to fill in some of the tooth of the paper. The UART sanded paper has a, a gritty surface to it, but it holds a lot of layers of pastel. So in order to achieve a very smooth uh, effect in the drawing, I need to apply several layers of color and gradually build it up. I have 
already drawn in some of the feathers and the bird's wings and once I outlined them I did take a little bit of the rubbing alcohol and painted over the black lines to solidify them into the paper. The reason I did that is so that as I apply more and more layers of color over these individual wings I wouldn't totally lose the outlines of the feathers. The female bluebird is not as colorful as the male bluebird and she has a lot of shades of brown and light brown in her feathers. So for the next few minutes I'm going to continue developing the placement of the wing feathers and then I'll come back as I begin to add more texture and details to her feathers. I'm going to start adding some feather texture and small little details to the bird's head and neckline area. I want to shade the darker areas and then begin adding some lighter shades of blue, very light tan and gray to create some color and texture in the neck area and back side of the bird. This begins to give it some fullness and more of a realistic appearance. Each of the small feathers in its wings have been outlined with some white pastel to show the definition uh, between each of the feathers. I will continue to add more color and blend to give all of the wings a more smooth texture. I'm using a little bit of a violet color for the shading beneath the bird's wings and for some of the shading in the belly area of her belly and I find that these colors complement each other very well. I'm going to finish shading in the dark background first with my very dark gray and then I'll add black on top of that and blend it very smoothly. 
I will also blend the black background with my fingers to push the pigment even further into the grain of the paper and this helps reduce some of the black dust that pastels can create. I'm going to continue adding some of the feather details to her body. I want to add a little more color to the wings to create a smoother uh, blended feather surface. These feathers are, are very flat and I need to shade in between each of the feathers. Most of the bird shading is done, but I will come back to it to finish some more feather highlights and finish her feet. But I would like to move on a little bit and work on the textured window pane on the right side of the frame. I am going to try and render the textured window glass um, very randomly by first applying a dark shade of gray first and mapping out the embossed textured area of the glass but doing it just randomly and not really following the photograph. And you can already see that it's creating a very nice smooth texture that looks very realistic. I'm also applying some darker shade of black in some of the corners and edges of the glass and just blending lightly with my fingers to shade. Once I apply the paint texture to the glass, it really represents the old window frame from the picture. I'm going to add some more details to the window frame and this painting is finished. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on how to paint a female bluebird in a window frame. Thank you for watching and see you next time.